So if you, for example, combine um, like a um, So this is our first card review for Frozen Throne. Please keep in mind that I will rate these cards like looking at them one by one because we didn't see many cards yet. There's no way to tell if the cards will be played, what the meta will look like, what kind of decks there are and like how much synergy those cards will get. Just like give some ideas what I think could be possible with the cards. Chillblade Champion. It's a Paladin card, 4 mana, 3-2, and it has Charge and Lifesteer. So Lifesteer is a new keyword. It means that when the minion deals damage, you, your hero will gain that life. You can like kind of compare it to an Earthen Ring Farseer, which is a, is a 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, which um, restores 3 health. So like because it has charge, you will always definitely gain one heal. But it's always to your hero, so the Earthen Ring gives you um, some flexibility, you can also heal minions, but it's only once, while the Chillblade Champion might give you heal for a second time. My problem with that card is that it's 4 mana and very poorly statted, so like on turn 4 it will likely die to just by just clearing one minion, so you're likely to only get one heal. Um, of course, there might be buffs, you may, may be able to give a divine shield or something, so there are those combos, but like, are they strong enough? I think, um, looking at the cards we have right now, it's too weak. I think, like, if it was at least a higher attack, uh, you could argue that you can, like, trade up, that you can, like, trade a four mana minion, um, but like this, it only trades like really a, a three drop or even just a two drop, um, and it survives to nothing. I don't think it's it's terrible. I just don't think it's constructed level good right now. Though um, maybe Blizzard will push the um, Kaleidosaur theme further. Maybe we see new buffs. Maybe we see new synergy for this, and maybe then it's viable. Shallow Grave Digger. Um, it's a 3 mana, 3-1, three, death rattle, add a random death rattle minion to your hand. The stats of, are of course pretty shit. <laughs> we don't really know which kind of death rattle minions we will gain um, from Frozen Throne. As we've heard, the death rattle theme will be pushed once again. But like right now it's actually pretty weak like there aren't that many good death rattle minions and three mana three one is just um a pretty shitty um stat line and especially if you consider priest playing that card um priest wants to have more health on a minion than attack so especially in priest it looks actually kind of weak so yeah, I don't see a place right now for it. I only see it in Priest, where you also can maybe use Mirish Kala. You can like combo it with Umbra if like the Death Rattle theme is, is pushed really hard. Um, so yeah, but like still, the Death Rattle minion quality right now is, is pretty bad. Um, next up we have Spirit Lash. It's a 2 mana Priest spell. Um, it says Lifesteal deal 1 damage to all minions. So it's a better arcane explosion and that's by far because you can like combo it um, with spell damage for example so you can like gain a ton of heal of that you can also like uh, play it in combo priests um, play it together with um, acolytes pyromancers circle of healing um, can draw a ton of cards from your know, Northshire clerics. Like, that's pretty much old school combo priest. Um, I think this is really strong, and um, I think we might see it in combo priests if combo priest is a thing. But, like, it's already kind of a thing right now. Like, the inner fire um, priest versions that are out there, there are some that might play this. But I also like the idea of comboing with spell damage though we don't have that many strong spell damage minions right now it's actually only Talnos since Azure Drake um, was moved to wild but still I like the idea and I think the card is pretty strong 
Okay, next we have Prince Kalseth. It's a 2 mana 2-2 two, two legendary. Battle cry, if your deck has no 2 cost cards, give all minions in your deck plus 1 plus 1. I think it's pretty interesting. You can like compare to Mistcaller, which was a Shaman Legendary, which isn't in standard anymore. Um, it was a 6 mana 4-4 four, four, and buffed all your minions in hand and deck by giving them plus 1 plus 1. What if you don't cut your 2 drops and you play it in those decks that only have a few 2 drops? Then it's pretty inconsistent and the problem is like if you draw this in the late game like on turn 10 and you have this 2 mana 2-2 two, two, which does basically nothing, the buffs don't matter that much. But the problem is the card only works very well in control decks. But your high drops are already good enough. But like we saw Mistcaller and Shaman and everyone was really hyped for it but like it didn't work out at all. This is better than Mistcaller because it's not a 6 mana 4-4 four, four, which is really bad. We learned from Mistcaller that the plus 1 plus 1 buff if it happens in the mid or late game it doesn't matter that much. Alright, um, next one is also uh, Prince Taldorum. It's a 3 mana 3-3 three, three legendary and it says Battle Cry if your deck has no 3 cursed cards transform into a 3-3 copy of a minion. This is really interesting because um, it allows some crazy combos like um, you can basically you can compare it to a faceless manipulator of course you have like a certain restriction to it but like for now let's not think about the restriction let's just think about the potential of the battle cry it's like a three mana faceless of course you don't get like the stats but like that doesn't matter if it's about combos so you have the potential to create a three three Turion, you have the potential to create a 3-3 Antonidas. Maybe you wanna copy your Lyra, so you can maybe play two Lyras in one turn. The priest has Mirish Caller and is basically already able to play two Lyras uh, in one turn. Um, but yeah, you, you get the point. Like there are cool legendaries you could copy with it for combo like um you could also like combi a spirit umbra if like a death rattle combo deck is a thing i love the concept of umbra and i'm a little bit sad that we didn't see um, much of her so far but i think that might change with the next expansion this is a cool interesting combo card usually they don't make it into long-term constructed but still it has potential and there are definitely um, a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff you can play around with that card it's just the same um, as with uh, Prince Kalthath, you can combo it with Hammett. Um, next card is um, Ticking Abomination. It's a 4 mana, 5 ticks, death rattle, deal 5 damage to your minions. Well, this looks pretty bad, doesn't it? I really thought about this card and I really thought what kind of advantage could be hidden in there what kind of hidden gem might this be and i really can't think of too much it's a four mana five six so wh what kind of four mana five six do we have in the game like there was hungry dragon which summoned a one drop for your opponent which wasn't played because the one drop <laughs> might be a really good one and like destroy destroy you like it might be Dust Devil, or it might be a Mana Worm, or it m might be a Tunnel Truck, which isn't in standard anymore. But still, you get the point. Like, um, Hungry Dragon wasn't played, and like, deal 5 damage to your minions seems like a really big disadvantage. And I actually can't really see any good. If it had taunt, you could like say it's okay, it's an anti aggressive tool. But who knows, maybe we will see other cards and maybe I'm missing something, but maybe, maybe, but like right now this seems pretty bad to me. 3 mana, 1, 3 weapon, icebreaker, it's for shaman. Destroy any frozen minion damaged by this. Hmm. So what kind of tools does shaman have to freeze minions? Right now it's only frost shark. Um, though you could of course play an elemental shaman and use glacial shards for example um, to freeze or even the um, frost elemental 
to freeze minions and kill it with this weapon. But even then it looks kind of weak because like you... Um, I mean Frost Elemental is, is by itself too weak so I could see playing Glacier Shards. Um, I could maybe see playing Frost Shocks but that's only four cards right? And um, Frost Shock also is a pretty bad card. So it's really only Glacier Shard you, you wanna play. And that's too inconsistent. So right now it seems pretty shit, but um, Shaman might get more freeze effects and then it might be okay. Though even if you get additional freeze effects, like, okay, what if this weapon was for Mage? A Mage does have the freeze effects, they have Frost Bolts, they have Frost Novas, they have Blizzards. Mage also has Shatter. Does anyone play Shatter? No. Is this better than Shatter? Yes, it is, but like, not that much. Also, most of the decks right now play weapon removal. So maybe you won't get the value. Um, so even if there are more freeze effects, I'm not sure this is uh, that great. Also because Shaman has a lot of removal. They have Devolve, they have Hex, they have Volcano, they have Lightning Stone, they have Maestrom Portal. Um, I don't see the reason to play such a complicated removal, like such an inconsistent removal. It's a 3 mana 2 3 Plague Scientist um, combo. Give a friendly minion poisonous. 3 mana 2 3 is pretty shit stats. So at first it looks pretty good because, like, um, comboing for rogue isn't that hard. And I would agree that in other classes it could be good, but especially in rogue, I don't see it working because um, rogue usually um, it doesn't have much of a board. The only combo right now available with charge in the Miracle Rogue lists we have right now is patches. So like the best combo I could imagine is like playing Smash Burglar, um, pulling your patches and playing the Plague Scientist that's four mana and the patches can kill anything. That's pretty good. But you like that's the only good combo you have there. Rogue um, does um, suffer like in keeping boards up. I guess you have Sherazine now which you might be able to revive and afterwards give it poisonous but like it has already five attacks so I don't see the value in that. If there are other deck types like if you played a token rogue if you might play Violet Teachers again. Violet Teacher is strong in rogue still even though no one plays it right now it is really strong um, and with the tokens of Violet um, you will get more consistently value out of this um, but it's still a pretty shitty minion by itself so for my experience if the rogue board sticks and doesn't get removed you win anyways you have the vile spines layers you have the saps um what more do you need <laughs> so that's that's kind of the problem here but um i think like it's a pretty good arena card in arena also your board sticks more because uh, there aren't that many removals and clears so i think in arena this card is good um but I don't see it like uh, in Constructed being that good. It's it's also pretty expensive paying 3 mana. That's also what you have to keep in mind. For, for Rogue that is expensive. Not super expensive, but like that's, that's mid-range cost for Rogue. <laughs> Blood Razor is a warrior weapon. 4 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Battle Cry and Death Wrestle deal 1 damage to all minions. Oh man! Could it be that this is like what Deathbite should have been. <laughs> like, I don't know who of you remembers Deathbite, but Deathbite was an Xramis weapon. It was a 4 mana, 4 2 weapon that had the Death Rustle to deal 1 damage to Almania. It didn't have the Battle Cry, but like, it was the most broken warrior uh, weapon. It was the most. Actually, it was the most broken weapon, I think. Of course, two attack is really weak, but you like gain two whirlwinds for it. Yeah, it's a little difficult. I, I, actually, for me, it's very difficult to say if you would play it. Because um, I think it has potential. It has 
to build environments, warriors love warrants and Blizzard loves giving uh, the warriors warrants. <laughs> Quite some synergy there. It has potential, but I really can't say right now if this is gonna be played. I mean, it's it's okay against aggro actually. Like it's okay against aggro, but like if the meta slows down, you know. <laughs> As, as always, if the meta slows down, um, if the meta slows down, though, there are actually still the cards that buff the attack of weapons for Warrior. Maybe I'm actually wrong on this, because like, the two Warrens are pretty strong. It could be that this card is really good. I mean, Deathbite was really good, but also had four attack and that's like, that does matter a lot. But I actually didn't consider yet. Warrant is an additional damage on the minion you're gonna attack. So basically, it's actually th a three attack weapon. If you don't go face, it's actually a three attack weapon. It's kind of a three attack weapon, so it's actually stronger th than I thought. Yeah, it might, it might be, it might be viable. It might be really good. It might actually be really, really good. And having those two Warrens built in one card is pretty good. Next card is Blood Queen Lenethel. It's uh, the Warlock Legendary. It's a 5 mana 1-6. Lifesteal. Has plus 1 attack for each card you have discarded this game. I like the design of the card. It really depends if the discard theme will work. I like the fact that they give Warlock um, sustainability because that's what Warlock is missing. Like they gave them all these suicidal cards lately and um, yeah, Warlock just can't stay alive. So I like the design of the card. Um, I like the potential of the card. Though I actually think they could have given it more health. Make it at least 7 health. Also you might discard this. But it's kind of a permanent effect. If you get this back from the, what is it called, tombstone caller? It will have that attack if it gets uh, summoned from the tombstone caller or what is it called. I'm sorry. I will probably uh, display the correct name over here. <laughs> Maybe I will even show the card. If this card lock is a thing, this card is surely in it. Because um, Warlock cries for healing. First hero that was revealed, it's for uh, Rexer, for the hunter. It's Deathstalker Rexer, 6 mana. Buttercry deal 2 damage to all enemy minions and it gives you 5 armor and a hero power, which lets you create a zombie. A zombie is basically you um, get to discover two beasts and they will get combined to one with all the effects, with all the mana costs. So, so if you, for example, combine the four mana 3-3 three, three, that generates two 1-1 one, one tokens with a high main, um, you get a 9-8 death rattle summon two 1-1s one, and summon two 2-2s two, two, for 10 mana. Yeah, I think it's cool. I don't know if it's viable because like, I think actually in Wild I think this is pretty good. Because Wild right now seems to have a slower meta than Standard. So this might be really good in Wild and I also, I, I like the effect, I like the board clear, I like getting the armor, I like that it's 6 mana and not like 9 or 10 mana, but still like, um, Hunter has always been struggling to play control because of the hero power, that's for one, and also because they don't have like the um, board clear tools and um, the sustainability and I think this might help, but like if I look at the meta right now, this is too slow. Like turn 6 is too slow. So and and like this hero power is cool, but like it doesn't it doesn't help with controlling the board. Um, like, he doesn't get like a hero power that, that helps him to recover instantly. Um, it's like a, it's like a high value hero power, which is good if you go to the light game and you're up against another control deck, but like against aggro it is bad because like you generate a beast, but when will, but when will you play it? And like, when will you let it, uh, will it help you to take over the board? Um, sure, you get the five life, uh, you gain five armor, but like uh, usually you've lost against aggro on turn six. And 
Hunter isn't that great in um, controlling the early game. Maybe Hunter gets additional tools. Maybe the meta actually slows down. Maybe we'll see it in standard. Who knows? I like the concept whatsoever. For the last but not least, we have the um, Mage Hero card, which was leaked. It wasn't actually revealed, so we don't know the Hero Power Mage gets. But um, it's a 9 mana uh, card. Frost Lich Jaina is, of course, a legendary battle cry. Summon a 3 6 water elemental. Your elementals have lifesteal for the rest of the game. It also gives you 5 armor. It's, of course, really late. But this, this might be a return of Elemental Mage. I mean, a return. Actually, there are still some people playing Elemental Mage. It's like really niche and like you maybe see it once a week. <laughs> but like it's, it's still there buried. It's not that great, but like it's buried somewhere it exists. Um, yeah, at the start of Anguru, a lot of players played around with Elemental Mage because it's not that bad. Mm. And uh, this card definitely supports an elemental mage theme. You gain that lifesteal, we really have to um, know what the new hero power is because that's really important. I mean, imagine it was like summon a water elemental for two mana. <laughs> Just imagine that, like that would be would be so great, that would be so good. I, I think mage might pull this off because mage has the ice blocks. I mean, we, we know it. mage has the sustainability to pull this one off and um, it might actually mean that we see more elemental mages again. And that's it for the first review. Um, it was a rather short one. I just wanted to give you a short impression of what I think. We will have more reviews, of course, if more cards are revealed. And I really want to like make a full review when all the cards are revealed. Um, I maybe not go into detail with every card again, but like I wanna like just look at the whole picture and talk to you about uh, what ideas I have, um, what I think um, we might see on the ladder. Of course, it's like just, I mean, no one ever uh, guesses that right. No one ever does that. But like it's it's still for fun. Like it's for us fantasizing about what might be and then getting uh, destroyed by a new aggressive card um, Blizzard released. <laughs> yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any feedback, any questions, please um, use the comment section below. I'm happy. If you liked the video, please press the thumbs up button. Um, it really helps me and hope to see you on Twitch or in the next video or both. Bye-bye.